Don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MAP. Hello, this is Amber Zinke with Evolve Electrical. Let's go over comparing Evolve Electrical and Native Revit when it comes to adjusting your elevation and spacing for conduit. So first I'm gonna do my Evolve way. So I'm gonna come in here and just show you my settings themselves. So you can see I have my target alignment being my run and I'm going to be aligning to the bottom. I could do edge to edge spacing or equal spacing, but I'm gonna be focusing on doing my dynamic spacing. So again, we're gonna be able to specify that within my spacing configuration chart here, but I'm not gonna change anything. I have it all set up. I'm gonna just do my continuous alignment. I'm going to first select my stationary conduit, select my other conduits and press finish. And again, I'm gonna do that one more time, select my stationary, then select the ones I want to be moved and press finish. So within a matter of a few clicks, I'm able to completely align my conduit when it comes to spacing, elevation, and everything is ready to go. I also don't have to have multiple different views open to be able to do this. I could do it within my 3D, my 2D, a section cut, wherever, and I know it's going to be perfect. All right, let's go into the native Revit way. So there's multiple different ways I could do this, but I'm gonna try to keep this as quick as I can. Um, so in this situation here, I'm gonna want to adjust my elevation. So first I'm gonna see what my elevation of my target conduit is. Since my conduit are all the same size, it doesn't really matter which elevation I grab. I'm just gonna choose my middle, select and press copy. So then I'm gonna go and select my other conduits that I want to align up to that when it comes to elevation. And I'm just gonna paste that elevation. All right, let's now go to my second tier of conduit and let's do the same thing. So I'm going to copy my elevation here and go and paste that into my other conduits here for that elevation as well. So now my elevations are going to be nice and lined up, but now I'm going to worry about my spacing. So I'm gonna select my conduit and again, making sure I have those dimensions so I can do this. I'm going to say now my five inches. Select my next conduit type in my five inches here as well. So now my conduit is spaced correctly and my elevation is correct. So now let's do that again for my next group of conduit here. So I'm gonna first select this one here and type in my three and three fourths inches. I'm also going to select my numbers that I've typed in here and press my control C just so I don't have to constantly re-enter the same number over and over again. Um, so I'm gonna go into my next conduit here and hit my control V and I'm gonna do my last conduit here and adjust that spacing here as well. All right, now we have the spacing and the elevation correct, but definitely a lot more picks and clicks. So that is comparing Evolve Align Conduit Tool versus Native Revit.